Hello everyone, once again welcome back to Let's Be Foodie Cooking channel and today I am going to share easy and tasty manchow soup recipe with you. Before we get started, let's have a look at the ingredients. Add water in a pan. Let it get boiled for about 2 minutes, then we'll add vegetables. After 2 minutes, add chopped carrot. Here I have got some chopped celery. Some chopped French beans, also known as green beans. After a minute, add chopped cabbage. Cover this and let it boil for 5 to 7 minutes on medium heat. It's been 7 minutes, let's turn up the stove. Now we'll take out the vegetables from the water and we'll use the water as vegetable stock. Heat 1 teaspoon oil in a pan on medium heat. Once oil is hot, add ginger and garlic. Stir it. If you want, you can also add green chili. I'll add some chopped green bell pepper. Stir it. Here I have got some chopped mushroom. Stir it. Stir it for about just 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, add boiled vegetables. Quickly stir everything. This won't take much time to get it cooked because we have already boiled our vegetables. So just cook it for about a minute. I am also going to add few splashes of chili oil. If you want to make it a little hot, you can add this. Otherwise, skip it. Mix it. After a minute, add some ketchup. I'm adding about one tablespoon tomato ketchup. Mix it. Now I'll add vegetable stock in which we have boiled our vegetables. Mix it. Cover it and let it boil for about 3 minutes. Meanwhile, let's make cornstarch paste. I have added about 2.5 tablespoon cornstarch and about 3 tablespoon water. If you don't have cornstarch, you can also use corn flour. After 3 minutes, I'll add some soya sauce. About 1 teaspoon white vinegar. I'll add some black pepper powder, about 1 4 teaspoon, add salt to taste but make sure you do not add much salt because soya sauce also contains salt. Now give it a good mix. Now I'll add some chopped green spring onion, stir it. After mixing everything well, add cornstarch mixture, just little at a time and keep stirring. Now cook this for about another 2-3 to three minutes and your soup will be ready. It's been 2 minutes since it's boiling. Turn off the stove and our mancha soup is ready. And if you want, you can top this with some fried noodles. Try this simple, easy, yet very flavorful soup recipe and let us know how it turned out for you. Share your experience with us by putting comments in comment section. And if you like this recipe, give a thumbs up, share on social network as well. Like and subscribe today to Let's Be Foodie if you haven't yet. I will be back soon with a new recipe. Till then, bye. 
I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much I do. Try out my other great recipes too. If you like my recipe, subscribe today. It's free. You can also follow Let's Be Foodie on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching.